Lawrence away again. Lawrence with Poirier. Lawrence drags. Lawrence is in, and he scores! Josh Lawrence! Now time for the league lead in... Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central, and today we'll take a closer look at 2020 NHL Draft eligible Josh Lawrence. The 5'8 center is a very interesting and exciting prospect, and one of the most electrifying players at the back end of the draft. Unlisted on the final central scouting rankings, Lawrence is, in my opinion, the perfect late round flyer, displaying great skills, skating, and offensive upside. Chances are, the Canadian center will never reach the NHL level, but with his upside, he's a very compelling draft sleeper. After posting 83 points in 49 games in midget, Lawrence was selected 15th overall in the 2018 QMJHL draft. New Brunswick native quickly impressed in the queue, posting 28 points in 54 games in his first season. With the attention of multiple scouts and the added pressure of his draft year, Lawrence collected 42 points in 64 games this season. If his stat line might not be overly impressive, his play on the ice showed tremendous potential. St. John Center is a speedy and skilled forward who uses his tremendous quickness and puck skills to exploit defenses all around the ice. To get a better idea of what are the risks and rewards with him, let's look at every aspect of his game from best to worst. Without a doubt, Lawrence's best asset is the skating. The Canadian center is among the best skaters of the entire draft, as his acceleration, top speed, quickness and mobility are all elite. Lawrence possesses a smooth yet very quick stride that helps him move up the ice effortlessly. He's incredibly fluid in all three zones as he displays his polished skating and brilliant footwork. His acceleration and quickness are nothing short of as amazing as well, which makes him a constant threat in transition. On this action for instance, Lawrence uses his quick feet and great vision on his own exit to find the open space. Next thing you know, he's creating offense for his partners on the other end. The 171 pounds forward uses his incredible briskness and foot speed to gain momentum quickly through crossovers and attack defenses with exceptional speed. He excels at leading the breakout and creates control zone exit thanks to his great acceleration and quickness. Lawrence reminds me a lot of Jack Hughes at times, as he loves to take these wide turns to gain speed before storming the neutral zone with terrific velocity. His first few steps in a straight line are nothing to brag about, as although quick, he lacks a bit of power to burst out of the blocks. However, Lawrence doesn't lack explosiveness by any means. He owns some tremendously quick feet and an impressive separation speed. He's able to shift gear almost promptly, frequently surprising opponents with changes in pace on the counter-attack. Showcasing Crips agility, the 2020 eligible is able to weave through opponents and find skating lanes with such ease. He dodges rivals and sneaks through defenses with dexterity, which honestly might be the most impressive part of his game. He gets around guys and gets into lanes so comfortably and smoothly, you're just left enough. He gets to the offensive zone skillfully and can generate countless controls on entries in part thanks to his fantastic shiftiness. He's not one to get rid of the puck quickly either, often skating around the offensive zone with speed to wait for options after his own entry. For that reason, he's often rely upon to lead the play and create controls on entries on the power play. In addition, Lawrence possesses a tremendous and very elusive speed. He seems to gain momentum with each stride, which gets him to very high tempo and allows him to blaze past defenders on the rush. He seems to surprise many rear guard with his full speed, as many are left face under pivot. He's not a powerful skater, but he's a quick one, that's for sure. Visibly, St. John Center gets most of his scoring opportunities on the rush, almost to a fault. One major concern scouts have with him is that his style of play might not translate to the NHL level, where the play is more focused on the cycle than the counter-attack. And that's a fair argument. Lawrence's production in transition represents 45.2% of his total production, which is quite high. He did only produce 6 points on the cycle all season, which might be a red flag for many. In the offensive end, Lawrence uses his great balance and slick edge work to get opponents off his back and work through traffic. 
he moves around his zone effortlessly, but his quickness doesn't compensate fully for his lack of size. On display for example, Lawrence is able to escape pressure effectively thanks to his great mobility, but unfortunately, a big hit will always overcome his skating. Overall, Lawrence is still one of the most electric skaters eligible in 2020. It's a big reason why he could be an interesting option in the late rounds. The Canadian forward possesses some quick and shifty mitts that allows him to stay slippery and deceitful in transition. If his stick handling abilities are not quite elite, he showed multiple flashes of high end skills and there's definitely some interesting potential in there. His hands are able to catch up to his feet most of the time. He dodges stick checks and four checker with ease, showing quick reaction and a slick puck control. He's displayed the ability to control the puck with dexterity well within reach of his opponent, allowing him to toy with his rivals and destabilize them simultaneously. It's not uncommon for him to use flashy digs to pass his opponents and get creative on the attack. It seems natural and so effortless for him. His crafty mids helps him beat goaltender up close as well, using quick digs and excellent fakes. On this play for example, as Lawrence approaches the net, he sells perfectly the shot and uses his great creativity to find the space to thread the needle behind. Excellent display of his offensive abilities. The right-handed center excels at keeping the puck far away from poke checks, showing great puck control despite pressure on his back and constant stick lifts. This allows him to stay in command in the offensive end against tough defensive matchup. Lawrence has also showed above-average abilities at the face-off line. Although not often relied upon to take important defensive draws, he is more than likely to come out with the possession in those situations. If we're combining stats from his two most recent seasons in the queue, Lawrence has won a decent 53.9% of his face-offs. In a way, his puck handling abilities are an extension of his skating prowess. Quick, agile, effortless and dynamic. Lawrence is a very competitive player as well, who showed constant efforts and intensity with and without the puck. He owns a great motor and an excellent competitive nature, repeatedly battling for possession of the puck in corners or on the fourth check. He loves to get on the puck pursuit to create turnovers and potential scoring chances. He excels at recovering pucks on solo efforts and turning simple takeaways into dangerous looks for him or his teammates. His frame does put him at a disadvantage in puck battles, especially against bigger and stronger defensemen. But this doesn't seem to affect his approach at all, as he goes all in and still is able to come out with the win a good amount of time. He puts his speed and quickness to profusion on the forward check, getting on loose pucks quickly and recovering possession in tough battle. He can really get on defensemen's nerve with relentless pressure and compete. His stick work approaches perfection as his constant stick lift and poke checks are quick, tenacious and persistent. This has allowed him to create multiple scoring opportunities, taking advantage of the disoriented defense to exploit open space and find open allies. In fact, a good chunk of his scoring chances and offensive projection this season came through the puck push threat. But it's much more than just creating offense for Lawrence. He is able to disturb the opposition with pure compete and effort. He breaks up a lot of zone exit with outstanding stick work and obviously excellent competitiveness. Some of his back checks are extremely impressive and astonishing as well. I love this play from Lawrence. The small forward jumps quickly on the rush and takes a good shot on goal. For many prospects, the play would have pretty much stopped here, but Lawrence gets right back on defense to recover the puck, which ultimately allows him to jump once again on offense. Around this action, Lawrence shows his great motor and complete level on both sides of the ice, getting back on defense to stop a play and recover the puck, then storming to neutral zone to arrive first on the low puck at the other end. The right-handed forward has a great scoring drive too, getting to the crease without hesitation and hoping into dirty areas to clean rebounds. His efforts on the defensive end are not always as high as he first and foremost focus on creating offense and jumping on the rush. But overall, Lawrence just owns a great motor and is ready to put efforts in all situations. Lawrence is an above average playmaker who can create great looks for his teammate thanks to his skillful playmaking abilities and decent vision. 
the Gandazen Prospect owns some great alarm on passing skill that allows him to distribute slick passes in all three zones. He can fire excellent stretch passes on the breakout to launch the offense quickly and accelerate the pace of the play. He is very accurate on most of these, which is not only impressive but helps his team a ton in transition. In Unman Rushes 2, Lawrence is a willing passer who won't hesitate to give up the shot if he sees his ally in a better position. St. John's forward moves the puck very well on the power play, displaying great eyesight and awareness. He is not scared to try dangerous cross-ice passes, which when connects, give his colleague deadly looks. That said, Lawrence's playmaking particularly shines on two aspects, creating zone entries and setting up scoring chances around the crease. The undersized center is at the origin of countless rushes, where not only can he find partners on the move, but is able to open the play gracefully. He showed great patience with the puck at times, which allows him to wait for perfect passing lanes to open up and reward open teammates with flawless passes. He anticipates his partner movement really well, which helps him adjust his passes and ease the work for his teammates. Combined with his skating, Lawrence is a zone entry machine and a player who every team can count on to establish itself in the offensive zone. Lawrence also excels at finding colleagues around the crease with quick, effective passes, giving them dangerous opportunities or simply effortless goals. Countless times, New Brunswick native looks like he's about to take the shot, but thanks to his great vision, he chooses to feed a teammate in a better spot. On display, for instance, after trying a shot in traffic, Lawrence shows the awareness and vision to find a teammate striking to the slot. On this action, too, as Lawrence receives the puck, he only needs a quick look over his shoulder to find a teammate striking to the net across the zone. He times his pass well, giving his ally a dangerous look in front. He's not the most consistent passer out there, but it completes his game very well, allowing him to generate many offensive plays. Lawrence is a creative and very quick thinker, showing the ability to make wise decisions at high speed and lead the play in all zones. He especially impresses on those quick tap passes to destabilize goaltenders and outsmart the opposition. This play is a perfect example. As Lawrence receives the puck on the old man rush, he already knows he's sending it back to his partner. His quick decision making disturbs the defense and allows his line mate to finish the job with ease. The 5 for 8 prospect displayed great awareness on rushes as well, getting to decrease quickly for potential deviation and rebounds. He showcased overall decent positioning on the attack. Lawrence is able to get on multiple breakaways too, more so thanks to his great anticipation than his speed. He reads plays on the breakout quickly and is willing to take his chances to create on the offense. This shows great anticipation, but also an offense-oriented mindset. The right-handed prospect are patience and control of the puck, waiting for plays to develop rather than give out the position. If quicker puck movement might be more valuable in some instance, I like him take his time with the play and not rush decisions. He uses his teammates very effectively, especially as he kicks back the play to his defenseman on his own entry. That said, I think it would be very interesting to see him do the same on the breakout. He sometimes tries to go end-to-end -end from his own zone without much success, giving the puck to one of his rear guard and putting himself as an outlet option opens the play and makes himself much more dangerous. He's done that a few times, which leads to better results and quicker puck movement. If there is more positive than negative to say about his hockey senses, the 2020 eligible center does lack consistency in his decision making and play under pressure. He showed poise and calmness with the puck, but there is also times where he panics and throws the puck away. There is definitely an interesting offensive potential in there, but it's yet to be polished. Lawrence has accumulated 19 goals in 64 games this season for 0.3 goals per game pace, which puts him at a total of 31 goals scored during his first two seasons in the QMJHL. These numbers could definitely seem underwhelming, but looking at other Q eligibles projection this season, Lawrence doesn't seem much out of place. These prospects were all ranked by central scouting between the 48th and the 175th spot in North America, while Lawrence was left out of the list completely. But numbers aside, 
The 18 years old center is honestly a subpar to average goal scorer at best, who aside from some decent flashes here and there is far from a scoring threat. He lacks the power to be dangerous from far away and relies heavily on clean looks and transition to put himself on the scoring sheet. It's no coincidence Lawrence has accumulated 51.7% of his goal in the queue on rushes. That said, Lawrence does possess a quick and elusive release that allows him to surprise some goaltenders, especially in transition. He capitalized on his chances and at times displays a quick and accurate wrist shot. This goal was the most impressive from Lawrence. On his own entry, he displays a quick puck delivery and extremely impressive accuracy to thread the needle. It's a very interesting glimpse of talent, but obviously far from a consistent part of his game. Looking at his goals chart, it's evident Lawrence is stronger up close than from distance. He's efficient from dangerous areas, especially the slot where he can fire quickly and catch goalies off position. He doesn't hesitate to take shots from far away, but it hasn't worked out for him yet. The 171 pound center possesses some decent finishing skills as well, which helps him finish the play around the crease and bury second chances. Lawrence is not scared to drive the net and jump on rebounds for easy tap ins, which speaks more about his great offensive instincts and scoring drive than his actual goal scoring abilities. I don't expect Lawrence to become a goal scorer at the next level anytime soon, but that's also not what his game is about. He showed the ability to finish plays when needed, and he's able to capitalize on his countless rushes, which honestly is all I could ask for. Lawrence is far from a defensive-minded center, but he still has his pros in the defensive zone. His quick feet and great agility helps him keep up with quick attackers and catch up to opponents on the counter-attack. His terrific stick work allows him to break plays and put relentless pressure on rivals in the defensive end. He showed great moments on the back check too, at times completely breaking attacks with great effort plays. His compete is really at fault on the defensive side. That being said, Lawrence is still overall a support defender. His small frame allows opponents to work against him with ease and he's not the most reliable defensively. Physicality is where Lawrence takes a hit. At 5'8 and 171 pounds, Lawrence is an undersized center who can get knocked off puck pretty easily. He showed grid flashes where his skating and balance help him counter his small frame, but I'm not sure this will continue when he faces stronger competition. Just in the QMJHL, Lawrence's position considerably diminished against top teams and I expect him to have more difficulties against pros at the next level. His thick work allows him to win many puck battles, but as soon as he faces tougher and stronger opponents, he rarely measures up. Although he's very intense, it's rare to see him go out of his way to hit an opponent or punish him along the board. His strength is his biggest red flag, and one of the major reasons he isn't ranked on multiple lists. So in conclusion, Josh Lawrence is an electric and captivating junior player, and in my opinion, one of the most interesting prospects for the upcoming draft. I see why Lawrence would most likely have difficulties adjusting to the next level, but if I've got to swing for defenses in the 6th or 7th round, I think Lawrence is a great upside pick. There's many other skilled, undersized prospects who have better potential than him, but I just thought Lawrence didn't receive enough attention this season. I don't expect him to be selected next June, but I would keep an eye on him in the upcoming years, as he could very well develop into a compelling overager. Anyway, what's your thoughts on Josh Lawrence? Subscribe for more NHL draft related videos and click here to watch my previous scouting reports on 2020 eligibles. I'll see you in the next one. Fear not, here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come.